What's up, I'm Triple Shoot. In this super quick guide, I'll be showing you how to open your NAT in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. This should give you a better connection to servers, at least sometimes, and when you're hosting, it should give you a better connection to other players as well, or vice versa. Opening your NAT is usually a good thing to do for network performance. If we head into the game followed by settings in the top right, then account and network, you'll find under network info, which I'll have to blur a little bit of, a much more difficult to read screen than Modern Warfare 3. On the screen, you'll see NAT type right near the center of a hem, and it'll either say closed, moderate, or open. If yours is moderate or open, things are good, but if it's closed, it oftentimes means that you can't host and other things like that. Anyways, in order to open your NAT type for Call of Duty Black Ops 6, all we need to do is allow it through our Windows firewall and port forward or do a couple of other things. Let's go ahead and do them now. First of all, closing out of the game in order for this status to update when we restart it. So we'll quit for now. Yes, hit start, type in PowerShell, right click and run it as administrator. Then in this new window that pops up, in the description down below, you'll find some commands that you can copy and paste. Simply clicking the link and scrolling down, it'll be updated for this video when it comes out, you'll find this colorful section over here. This is a super simple command that should allow different ports through your Windows firewall very quickly and easily without having to do it manually. Just copy this using this button in the top right or select the text here and copy it, then paste it into your PowerShell window using Control V, paste anyway and hit enter a few times to make sure everything is sent properly. Once it is, we can type in the command ipconfig, one word, to find out our IP address of our computer on our local network. Simply scroll until you see the way you're connected to the internet, in my case it's Ethernet, and you'll see my IPv4 address is 192.168.150. This is the address of my computer on my router. If you're connected directly to a router or a mesh network that connects you straight to your fiber box and to the internet, then the things are good, you only need to port forward in one place. But if you're connected from one router to another router to another one, then you'll need to do multi-router port forwarding, which may sound a bit scary, but essentially, instead of pointing the router to your PC, you point it to another router and that one to your PC. Pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do it. For this, you'll need to log into your router's admin panel, which is usually whatever the default gateway is over here. In my case, 192.168.11. Sorry for the flashbang, but you'll see something similar to this. Essentially, we're looking for somewhere that that's usually advanced security port forwarding. And in here, you can type in external ports, internal ports, choose a protocol, a local IP, and usually choose whether it's enabled or not. Sometimes you can do ranges, sometimes you need to enter numbers individually. Based on your router, you'll need to do things a little bit differently. Essentially, we need to port forward these ports over here for TCP and these ports over here for UDP. The ones that cross over with each other are 3074 and 3075, so we can do this in one range. So, for example, if we can enter a range, I'll do 3074 to 3075. So we're port forwarding both of these ports to our computer local IP, which was 192.168.1.50 in my case. Sometimes you'll need to enter these ports a second time, like I do here. So I'll type it in a second time. And for the protocol, we'll choose TCP and UDP to do both of these in one rule. Sometimes you'll need to do them separately. Add the rule, and just like that, you're now port forwarded with that particular range of ports. We now need to do this for the other ranges as well. We have 27000 all the way to 27037. We can do all of these in one simple range. So I'll start with 27000 to the highest number, which was 27037. So 27037, and we'll do this twice as that's what my router asks for. We'll choose TCP and UDP. Once again, I only need to enter the last bits of my local IP, add new, and bam, we're now completely port forwarded. And of course, as we've already opened up all of these different ports on our Windows firewall, everything should be done. It's that simple. If you're using something like an antivirus with a built-in firewall, you'll need to make sure these ports are allowed there as well. Once you've done all of this, simply close your game, restart it, and when you head back to that network screen, you should see that your type is now open instead of moderate or closed. I already showed you what it looked like when it was open, but just before I did this on my own router, zooming into hide my IP, this is what it looked like for me. NAT type moderate. Anyways, that's it. You now know how to solve this issue. It's super simple, but if it's your first time port forwarding, it may be a little bit confusing. Best of luck, and if you need extra help, you'll find more in-depth port forwarding guides down below. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.